Welcome, everybody. It is Wednesday, a week later than the last hump day we had. It is two chaps, many cultures. Welcome to the place where too much culture is hardly ever enough. How are you today, my friend? I'm doing magnificently, mate. Thanks for asking. It's a pleasure to ask. It's always a pleasure to ask. I'm genuinely interested. Genuinely interested. <laughs> welcome global people is what I usually say. So welcome for being on. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, I had a wonderful day so far. And now yeah. I see your beautiful face. So let's hope it stays that way. So how was your day, Brett? All downhill from here, baby. Uh, it was fantastic. My day is great. And um, just beautiful weather up here in Chicago. I hope it is where you are, wherever you are in the world. This, uh, this morning, good evening, this uh, afternoon, whatever it is afternoon here in chicago as it is in atlanta but wherever you are we hope it's great too and welcome to the first in what we're calling an intermediate series of book reviews books that we have read books that we have uh listened to because you can do that too audio books in this case i've kind of not read this book i've got the book i've got it on audio book but i haven't read it yet but my you good colleague a, here you have a bookmark in it though I do. Well, it was your quote. <laughs> uh, Before we went on, he, you know, Christian gave me a quote, and I said, oh, let me find that. That's great. But it just so happened I just re-listened to the intro and the audio book, and that was included in it. And interesting how that jumped out at me and it jumped out to you. So what book? Well, anyway, let, well, let, let, let me hold this up so we, we can yeah. actually see this without reflections. It's called Talking to Strangers by Malcolm Gladwell. Um I'm I'm tempted to call it something else, but that's just me. My in my, my weird in my my weird mind tells me, well, am I talking to people or am I talking with people? I prefer talking with people, but again, that's me being weird. the 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 title is "Talking to Strangers." Malcolm Gladwell, the guy who wrote, who brought to you those beautiful books called Outliers and Tipping Point and. Oh, if I got the other ones, maybe I should read the liner notes. Um, the, the 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 guy who you, if you haven't read his books, you may have seen his TED talks. Um, I think the one that I like best, or I like all of them, but the one that I really like is the one where he talks about tomato sauce in a jar, and how we, as a human species, are behavioral mysteries sometimes and this gentleman has found a way to look at human behavior through a couple of lenses that not all of us have and that's why reading his books are is quite enlightening so um how many of you have read write write it in the in the comments either live now or and later on in the recording let us know have you read any malcolm gladwell books have you read this one this one came out in late 2019 um the reason why i was drawn to it a was the author's name i'm kind of a sucker for his stuff and talking to strangers i thought that finally he's writing about my stuff right about my line of work because that's what we work with with our clients is help them get better at talking with or to people who are different from them, embracing the difference and be successful in light of the difference and maybe discover some commonalities along the way. So strangers become less strange people. So that's the premise under which I thought book would be, and it didn't disappoint. So I don't want to make this a monologue here. So Brett, chime in whenever you feel compelled the the one thing that makes this an interesting somewhat timely slash out of date book is because as gladwell always does in his books he tells stories from different people or companies or events so he it, it's kind of a uh, like an episodic storytelling and he finds a common thread throughout these narratives and one of the stories he tells is about a lady by the name of and i have to look it up because i didn't remember it by a young woman called sandra bland or sandra bland i'm not quite sure how she pronounced her first name and i'm using the past tense because sandra or sandra is not pronouncing her first name at all because she was killed by a cop and She's also African, or she was African-American. And the book 
explains or takes a look, a closer look at what happened, who pointed blame at each other after the fact, and also looks closely at who were these people, who was Sandra, and who was the police officer that ended her life. And could that event have been avoided? Could that narrative had a, a different outcome if the two people knew how to talk to strangers? And that's kind of the premise that follows us through that book. And I said it's timely because we live in a time of national, if not global, awareness over um, the overreach and violence and sometimes brutality of law enforcement agencies, whether that be here in the United States or in other parts of the world. And it's also a little bit out of date because as Malcolm Gladwell wrote it, he wrote it, he wrote about Black Lives Matter and, and the, the, the civil rights movement that ensued from many of these um, killings or, or, or incidents between African Americans or US minorities and law enforcement. He, he's, he writes of it as if this was a flare up and it went away. And he says, we put aside these controversies after a decent interval and moved on on to other things. And when he says we, I interpreted he means we as the US society, we put aside these controversies and after a decent interval, we move on to other things. And here's the sentence that kept me reading because this is on page seven. And he said, he gave it an extra line. And he says, I don't want to move on to other things. Like, Yep, good on you. I wanted to high five him for that line. Said, "Yep," and that's why I'll keep reading. Yeah, we, we, whether it's you and I, or all of us watching this, or all of this country, or all of the world, we need to freaking learn or relearn how to talk to each other, and not talk about or off each other. That's why I said in the beginning, I, I, I prefer talk with others because it's, to me, it sounds more including talking to can have that connotation of I'm, I'm instructing somebody or I am explaining something or talking down to or upon somebody. But this is linguistic hair splitting. Um, it's a great book because it'll make you aware because it did so to me it made me aware where my communicative shortcomings may be where my blind spots are and how i sometimes don't efficiently talk to strangers or maybe avoid talking to strangers what's mm -hmm. the last who's the last stranger you talked to brett today i mean i think every day we um we get to do in our work, we get to talk to strangers. Um, and this is why I have not read this book yet. I've got the book. Um, I will actually just correct you a little thing on the uh, Sandra is actually she committed suicide in custody. Dang it. I misread it then. I should yeah, go back to those pages. Only because I just listened to it this morning, but it was, a, I just remember that. And because she did, re, uh, she did record the interaction. And um, it was just really, I mean, this is a highly accomplished person, professional, that even had a YouTube channel like us and was putting content out in there in the world in a wonderfully enriching way and then was brought to that point by that treatment, by that, I mean, the treatment of her was no less terrible because she didn't die in that particular, you know, minute. But she did uh, essentially was, was driven to suicide while she was in custody for basically lighting a cigarette while she was, you know, mm -hmm. while she was being stopped by a police officer, which which shouldn't ever happen, right? So when you ask the question about the stranger, I mean, in the work we do, and this is why I'm so drawn to this book and I got it myself, um, is that we get to work with strangers just like I did today in, in a first session of a training where we are confronted by somebody we don't know. We've never met mm. them. We don't, we don't have their perspective. We have a little bit of background about them. We know where they're from. We know maybe what language they speak, perhaps where they're going to or where they're at at the moment. And we can teach through that lens. But it's always surprising. And it, it is a part of our work that is a skill that 
that I look forward to learning from in this book because it, this takes it deeper. It takes it deeper than just what I'm talking about in an innocuous, you know, coaching session with a client where, where there's there's almost a uh, a sense of trust that and, and credibility that's always imbued on me already. In this particular case, we're talking about true strengths, talking, standing in a line, like last year in Italy, talking to a young um, two young Muslim girls standing in line to go into a Catholic cathedral and having hearing conversations around me that were saying, why are they here? <laughs> mm -hmm. And me and me going, well, you know, I can hear those people over there asking it. I'm just going to ask, <laughs> you know, and it, and they had they had some good pizza too. It looked pretty good. I, I used that as start the starting conversation. But then I said, I said, so are you looking forward to this? This she said, yes, absolutely. This is, you know, we came here. This is the one of the places we wanted to come. And then understanding that, you know, the obviously the Quran has, you know, it's an Abrahamic text and it it has Mary in it, it has Jesus in it. So these the, the these these figures that they're coming to uh, you know, to venerate or the building to venerate. So that's a that's an uh, that's an insight that I gained from talking to those strangers. I kind of drive my family a bit crazy every time because I talk to strangers. <laughs> I don't know about you. Uh, Did you and I have the same family because my my girl yeah. and my family are like, oh, dad, stop it, stop asking questions. No, don't talk to that person because we know it's going to take forever. You're never going to get out of that conversation. Um, yes, and they're, they're right. I, I'm I'm that person. And yeah. I, 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 I sometimes may annoy people. Sometimes they're close to me. Sometimes they're the strangers that I talk to randomly. Yeah. Um, I think I, I don't want to judge that. Um, I, for, for myself, I think it's 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 something that I enjoy doing, and I also recognize there's a lot of people out there who find that challenging, or maybe even not only comfortable, but not the right thing to do to to randomly talk to strangers. And I, I'm, I'm not going to say that's a good thing or a bad thing. I know that you and I, we have this desire to, to actually approach complete strangers because I know there's learning in that. And it, it's, it's making a new connection or, or um, maybe killing a, a bias here and there that we may have about each other. So therefore, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to continue to do that. And I also understand that not everybody is, is open to that. I was well, no, on And that's why I kind of had on the, the, the cover of this episode is a cultural perspective or a, cul a cultural reflection on the mm. book itself. Because yes, I mean Malcolm Gladwell talks about it, as you said, from a an ethnocentric, ethnocentric point of view. In an American sense, there is that we talk about this wonderful sense of friendliness that Americans have, and the and you can strike up a conversation with a stranger in a coffee shop, right? If you are so determined to do so. Mm. But that's you're right. That is not culturally. That's not something that is comfortable for other people in other countries. And then uh, if you have that then you go to that country, you find yourself, you might be confronted by what seems to be on the surface, a very unfriendly society, which usually that's not the case. It's just that that's how that culture operates. So that's why when you're reading this book, I think, and I haven't read it yet, but I'm just saying I'm, I'm always kind of cognizant or of my own biases when I read a book like this to, to understand how am I reading it through the lens of the author and my own perspective and does this apply everywhere? Of course it doesn't. Right? And you will be surprised how many biases, inherent biases Gladwell is shining a light on because all the stories that he's telling, he's talking about the Sandusky uh, sexual uh, predator case at, at Penn State University. He's talking about an FBI story with, with Cuba and, and uh, mm -hmm. espionage. And he's, he's talking about the Sandra Bland case and a couple of others that all have one thing in common, um, inherent biases, pe people's misperception of other people and how it facilitated or inhibited a open and clean line of communication. And if, if there is something that I... Uh, 
that other people distill from the work I do, then that's one piece. I was on a on a two hour online workshop today, facilitated or initiated by somebody whose book I will bring up on one of these future sessions. I'm not going to give that away. But during that two hour session, I was paired with a complete stranger in a breakout room multiple times. And I got to know a, a new human being today that I had never met before in my life. And the premise of the workshop was to go deep quickly, deeply with our own personal stories and distill essence from it. And this young lady picked it up immediately what is the driver of my work or the driver of my behavior based on the stories we exchange. And I was able to do the same with her. And basically, the, the this workshop was the essence of what Gladwell writes about in his book. And we, we agreed on highlighting this book before I had this experience today. So this is serendipity, coincidence, whatever you want to call it. So I talked to a complete stranger and it worked. And we both learned something new of each other. And who knows what it will lead to. It, it will expand each other's networks and she'll tap into mine, I'll tap into hers, or maybe we'll never talk again in the future. It doesn't matter. It was a great moment for now and it was insightful for both of us. So that's, I think, the, the beauty in approaching the unknown with an open mind and an open heart. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, the book is Talking to Strangers, Malcolm Gladwell. I'm looking forward to reading it on your recommendation, by the way. Oh. So, you know. Well, Malcolm, 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 if you're watching this, right, checks in the mail, correct? And no. Checks in the mail, hey, yes. Don't worry about the check, Malcolm. We want you on this program. That That's all there. That's all I'm asking. So Absolutely. We, well, we'll get out of this cheap. <laughs> That's right. Twenty minutes with us, dumb, <laughs> you know, numb, you know, dumb guy. I don't know. It is. It is a, always a pleasure. Um, another episode in the can. But I will say, in terms of the interaction, and uh, and we, you, know, you can invite Malcolm all you want. But we would uh, we would also want you, the audience, to reach out to us with your questions, comments. Um, any? Have you read the book? In this particular case, give us your reflections on it but uh the 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 point is that this content is for you and we would need and love your interaction and of course you can be a guest um we we have sp spots all over the place at least five days a week <laughs> at, <laughs> at least all over the place However, tomorrow, tomorrow's spot is taken so for those of you who are short-term motivated no dice tomorrow we'll have an author with us that wrote a book that I just finished reading. So that'll be interesting. And maybe, who knows, maybe Friday too. We'll find out. We'll we'll keep you guessing, folks. And we look forward to tomorrow's episode. Thanks for being on today. Two chaps are out for now. Ciao for now, my friends. Global community. Talk to you soon. See you guys. Bye.